Hey there! So this is my very, 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 very much belated March favorites video. I know I haven't filmed a favorites video in forever. I haven't even looked back through my other videos to see when the last favorites video I filmed was. It was a long time ago. And nonetheless, it is very late in that it is already like midway through April. But I kind of just wanted to gather up all the things that I've been loving recently and share them with you guys. Um, but first, I kind of wanted to mention that I will be talking a little bit about my Louis Vuitton bag towards the end of the video because a lot of you guys had questions in my unboxing video, which was the last video I filmed, um, because I annotated in that video that I actually ended up exchanging the Totally MM in Damia Eben. So, I will be talking about a little bit what I ended up getting instead and um, a little bit about that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my favorites. Um, the first thing that I have that I've been absolutely loving is a cleanser. Um, this is by Garnier, and this is the Garnier Clean Plus Shine Control Cleansing Gel. And since I have really oily skin, I am always looking for products that will battle that oil or try to minimize it and whatnot. So this is uh, made with charcoal and it removes excess oil and mattifies skin. So that's definitely things that I've been loving. Um, I also read that gel cleansers are good for people who have oily skin. So I've been absolutely loving this so far. Um, I actually got it when Garnier is on sale. So definitely look out for when Garnier goes on sale. You can get uh, it for even cheaper. Um, and then the next thing that I've been loving recently is also by Garnier. And I also got it when it was on sale. But it is the 5 second blur skin renew instant smoother. And I may or may not do a review on this, but um, I've been really, really, really loving this. I am a huge fan of like skin primers and things that make your foundation go on nicer, and so I've been using this for that purpose. Um, I've also been using this for, you know, those days when you just kind of like, I don't want to put on makeup, but I want to look a little bit better for when I'm out running errands or whatever. This does a good job of that. And so you kind of just put it on, I put it on mostly on my problem areas, so areas where my pores are larger or I have prominent acne scars. And so it does good, do a good job of mattifying those areas and making it less um, noticeable. And so I really, really like this, mostly as a primer under my foundation, but it is good for those other days as well. Um, I actually really wanted to buy the uh, L'Oreal Miracle Blur, I think it's what it's called, but this was $5 cheaper and it was on sales um, it was on sale at the time so it was even cheaper than that so I didn't want to spend the extra five dollars to get the L'Oreal one but let me know down in the comments if you guys tried that one and if it works better or if it works really well and I can pick it up instead of this one when I run out of this but moving along um, I also have a new foundation favor I don't know if I mentioned this before but I have been loving the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation, and I actually had to get it in two shades because um, I originally thought that I was 857, which is golden tan, but actually this is a little bit, a little bit too light for me. And so I went one shade up and got that one as well, and so unfortunately I actually have to use them together in order to create my perfect shade, which is the only downfall I have towards this product because other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. It lasts throughout the entire day, it goes on so smoothly, it blends amazingly, and I really love the finish this product gives. It's just a really nice foundation for a drugstore product. It has a nice pump, which is excellent for delivering the product. I'm just absolutely in love with this foundation. Uh, but the next um, favorites that I have are nail polish favorites. Um, the first one is the one that I have on my nails right now, which is Dulce de Leche by OPI. And I may or may not have mentioned this in prior favorites before, but I absolutely love this. I define this as my like perfect pink nude shade. Like this is the definition for me of the perfect pink nude shade. And I forgot who recommended this to me before, but somebody in one of my videos a while back recommended this to me and I'm so happy that I picked this up. So thank you to that person that recommended it to me. I wish I had your name so that I could like shout you out. So the next nail polish favorite that I have is by CoverGirl, and it is the um, Outlast Stay Brilliant Nail Polish in Smoky Taupe. And it looks like this, very, 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 like, taupey, purpley, gray shade. And I've absolutely been loving this so, so, so much. And I got a ton of compliments when I wore this on my nails. 
And I have, if I haven't mentioned it in other videos before, and I think I have, but CoverGirl nail polishes are made in France, and so I feel like the quality for a drugstore is really great for CoverGirl nail polishes. Um, but the last nail polish favorite I have is by Revlon, and it is the part of the Revlon Parf Parfumery line, and this one is in the shade Italian Leather. So this is kind of like a, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like an olive, like an olive green shade with um, gold shimmer running through it, which doesn't really show up so much when you wear it on your nails, but it's a really, really, really pretty, pretty shade. And this line of nail polishes, the ones that look like this with this little ball top, um, they have like scent. So when they dry, they have a scent. And this one is in Italian leather, so that's what it smells like. But I mean, like it had the smell for a while while I was wearing it, but it didn't really bother me too much. But I actually really, really love this, and I think it's more of a fall color, but I've been wearing it a lot recently, so I've been loving this a lot. And then moving on to some other beauty favorites, I have been absolutely in love with the Nature is Lovely Lashes. They have seriously become my absolute favorite, like, more affordable line of lashes. And I got these from, like, the Asian beauty market and whatever. And so these ones are a dollar each. My favorite ones, these are the L6s and these are the L3s. But today I'm actually wearing the E10s, but they're really, really, really nice lashes. For only being a dollar each, they're fabulous. They go on so nicely, they're not really heavy, although they're not made out of human hair, so they don't, um, they do kind of get that plasticky vibe but you just have to be really careful with them and they do go on really nicely and I've gotten a ton of compliments wearing these lashes and people have been thinking like oh my god did you get lash extensions? those look so natural and I'm like they are the nature is lovely lashes go pick them up they're amazing so when I go to the Asian market I get like 10 of them at a time because they're just fabulous but that pretty much sums up my beauty favorites some other favorites that I've been loving um, this is my new phone case it is like the Chanel boy bag, and it looks very much like the Chanel, it's the Le Boy or boy bag. It has the chain, it has a little strap, it is amazing. It looks very much like the bag, and I can't afford that bag because it's like $4,000 to $5,000, so this is the closest I'll get to getting it for the time being, but I absolutely love it, and I think it's so cute, especially like if I just want to carry it around my shoulder, it just looks like a bag on my shoulder. And then another kind of accessory related thing, um, I've been loving this combo. I actually wore this in the last video I did, which was the um, Louis Vuitton unboxing. And so this tank top is the Peter Pilato for Target collection. And then I paired it with this um, transparent uh, plastic necklace. I, I got this from Nordstrom Rack, but I can't remember the designer. I, I remember I linked it in the last video or I mentioned it in the details of the last video, but I can't remember the designer's name offhand. But I have been loving this so much, especially like with this transparent detail. I also have a, um, a cuff that's like clear like this too. And I've actually been, I actually wore this with the top that I have on now, which is from Zara. And so I just really have been in love with that necklace. I'm so in love with it. I wish I could have more of them. But yeah, I've been loving that so much. And I've said that like five times just now. But anyways, some other favorites that I've been having are these and these are these like pop pop vinyl toys these are the game of thrones ones and if i have never mentioned before i'm a huge fan of game of thrones it is amazing if it's, you haven't watched it and you're old enough to watch it i recommend you have to be like 18 years or older to watch it because it's kind of a mature show but i love it so i picked up the vinyl toys this one is in daenerys targaryen and this one is in Khal drogo and they just make a nice little set and this was actually really hard to find i mean i know it's available online and whatnot but finding it in a store is so hard i actually found those at barnes and noble so i was lucky enough to get that and i actually ended up picking up the vanity fair issue while i was there because they are on it as well so i'm so excited about this i'm very in love with this show and i'm so excited that it's back Although it didn't come back in March, so definitely it's not a March favorite that, you know, the show is back. But it's a March favorite that I've been loving, like the vinyl toys, and they're in the new issue of Vanity Fair. Um, but something else that I've been really loving has been this book. And I also picked this up while I was at Barnes & Noble, and this was a bargain book, actually. But it's called Be Happy, and this is uh, by Patrick Lindsay. And this book is just basically kind of like little things, like... 
cherish your friends, ask for directions, and there's little quotes at the bottom. I've been really reaching for this book for those days when I just kind of like want to, you know, read something that's kind of uplifting and encouraging and inspirational. So I've been really reaching for this book in terms of that because you know, you kind of need some things to kind of pick you up sometimes, but like, usually what I do is watch YouTube videos that are funny or inspirational, but this has been really kind of like my little best friend who's been keeping me going lately. And finally, um, for those of you who have been waiting to know what I got instead of the Totally MM in Damia Bin from Louis Vuitton, this is what I got and it is absolutely a favorite of mine for sure and will be for a very long time. Drum roll. Okay, so here it is. I picked up the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in Damia Eben, and I picked up the, I think it's something, the LV Facets charm or whatever, so I got, I exchanged the Totally MM in Damia Eben, and I picked up this bag instead, and I have been absolutely in love with it. I know I've said that about the last bag, but this time I'm sure of it. I was there for a good hour, hour and a half, two hours almost, for a very long time. And I made sure that I got one that I knew I was going to love. And this one was made in France, it says so on the little thing. Um, but definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a review on this bag. I promise I will not return this one or exchange it. I'm going to keep this one so I will be able to film a review on it if that's something you guys are interested in. But easy to say that this is a classic bag. It fits all of my things beautifully. I can find everything in there. It just was a perfect fit and I'm so happy that I made the decision to go back because it just wasn't sitting right with me. Um, I did film an extended, well not extended, I didn't film. I wrote a blog post. Uh, with some pictures when I still had the Totally MM. So if you guys are interested, I'll link that down in the video description. Um, I did kind of go over the pros and cons that I had with that bag and why I kind of changed my mind. But I'm so happy, I'm so pleased with that, that fact that I got this one instead. Um, even though I didn't get the bandolier, I wanted to get the bandolier and I thought about it, but then at the end of the day, I ended up on this one and I'm happy I got this one just because there are some parts of the um, bandolier that doesn't really look as nice to me. But um, anyways, I will go into that more in the review if you guys want me to do a review on this. Um, I also wanted to mention if you guys are interested in seeing other videos of mine or requests for me to do other videos, definitely let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear videos you guys would request. Um, I'm wondering, I've been contemplating filming a handbag collection video because a lot of people have those up and I've kind of wanted to film those. I have quite a bit of handbags back there if you guys can see and I've been wanting to film a video like that for a while but I haven't been sure if you guys would want to see a handbag collection video. Um, I've also been wondering if you guys were interested in hearing more reviews on my handbags. I mean like if you wanted to hear a review on the Speedy 30 in Damien Eben or um, my mini pochette so videos like that, review videos on handbags or other items that are not beauty related, definitely let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. Um, also, if I film, if I started filming like vlogs and or like day out with me videos or just stuff like that, would you guys be interested in watching that? Because I've kind of been carrying my flip camera around and like just walking around as I've been doing like daily things and I don't know, I've been debating whether or not I should put those up, so let me know about those as well. Also, I've been thinking about filming videos where I kind of just sit here and talk to the camera and like talk about different topics because I have had comments in the past where you guys have been asking me, to, wanting to talk about certain topics that are not like fashion or beauty related. And so if you guys are interested in me filming those and if you guys would watch those, I would definitely consider doing those because I wouldn't mind just kind of sitting in front of the camera and talking about my opinions or thoughts on certain topics. But anyways, this is going to be another long, super, super, super long favorites video. What's on my nails, as I mentioned before, is Dulce de Leche by OPI. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!